Hey guys and welcome back to Twitchy Plays XCOM Enemy Unknown where we are still trying to increase our soldier's psionic ability so that we can actually get down to using the gollop chamber where like we just don't, don't have anybody who can use that plasma ball. It, it's terrible. And literally the only thing we can do from this point forward is just like carry on trying to get fights so that we can like strengthen up our psionic abilities by like trying to favour them over any other weapon. It's been difficult so far because because I've been having so much trouble. I mean, as you guys know, I take a lot of death in, in my playthroughs here. I, like Most of my guys are very, very low level. If we look here, like we've got a couple of colonels and a couple of majors, but almost everyone is like lieutenants, corporals. And down here, we've just got like rank after rank of rookies. So maybe we should get some of them out there to, to, to do some stuff. But one of the things I wanted to do was get this heavy, some psionic armor. But if we come over to engineering and have a look here, like, we are missing the Illyrium. As we are always nowadays missing Illyrium. I don't even remember getting rid of any Illyrium at any point. So obviously we've just been, like, overly, like, using it too much. I'm not sure where we would have been using it. Like, we've got some firestorms and stuff. That's not overly expensive. Like, I know we used a lot here for the blaster launcher, but it still, it just doesn't seem like I used that much, and I'm really confused by it. The only thing we've got on upcoming events is the council reports, because everything else has kind of been done. Maybe we should have bought another firestorm, but here we go, abduction sites. Now, the first thing I want to do here... Several urgent requests oh, for assistance. Several urgent requests, you say. First thing I want to do is find out where we need to, to be. Uh, as you can see, Australia's got a lot of panic. Japan also has a lot of panic. Thankfully, they are on the same continent, so we just got to pick one. Uh, or China. Oh, well, it turns out it's all, all around here. So, Australia or Japan. I think we're going to go for a new captain support. Sounds good to me because we've got a, we've got a corporal support officer here, but that's not great, is it? Uh, so, we've given this guy the um, plasma sniper rifle that we've been promising for ages. And I think everybody else is actually all right. I mean, we could do with upgrading everyone to plasma pistols, but with, well, at least our other sniper up to a plasma pistol but until we can actually do that i think we should go perhaps we could have actually done that now thinking about it um i don't know but we're gonna just have to deal with what we can deal with uh whereabouts in japan are we going to i don't know i'm not too too up on my japanese geography i like i think tokyo's here i might be wrong though i might be wrong i have no idea where anywhere is we're going to fukuyua uh, there's a K on the end of that. I don't know. We're going there anyway. Uh, we are going to a metropolitan area. A wow, is that a petrol station there? I, I see a lot of big explosions coming from that. That would be uh, interesting. To see. Yeah, look, look. We are definitely going to a petrol station, and we're going to land right next to it. Guarantees that we're going to blow it up. Central, big sky in position on approach of the abduction site. Strike one is awaiting drop clearance. Copy that, big sky. Strike one is clear to engage hostile targets. Watch okay, backs, we uh, are... There, are... there are not... Oh, I thought I said, watch your backs, there are people out there. There are no people out here. Okay, I'm not sure where we're going to go with people. Like, we could we could use this as full cover, but do you think using a petrol, petrol pump as cover is a good idea? I don't. I don't at all. Right, we're going to send kicks up this way. It's a good, good opening gambit, I think. Uh, I think another thing that might be a good opening gambit is actually if we come over here to this guy... Where can we throw this that's going to be useful? Like, what, what is all the way down there? Is that as far as we can throw it? Okay, let's try that. Um, I think both our both our guys can throw out some battle scanners and see what's going on around us. Just to see if we get any any hits on people. Um, I didn't see anything there. Hang on, let's go up and have a look. No, nothing there. Uh, where's our other guy? You're not him. You're not him. You're not him. But you are. Battle scanner. How far up here can we throw this? Somewhere like here. I'm just throwing them both as far away as possible. Uh, hopefully, we're not going to encounter any serious threats. No, is that is that out? Is that everyone good? Okay, so nothing really to worry about. Where are we going to go check out first? I think this is probably going to be the place where they're all hidden. So let's go down this way and through the building. That that seems like the way for me. Okay, so who have we got next? We've got a heavy here. You're going to come down this way. We're going to basically spend most of our time hiding behind cars and stuff. Never really the best plan, you know, given, like, the explosive abilities of cars. But it's kind of what we got to stick with. Uh, there should be one more here. Okay, we're going to put him there. 
and that should be all our guys nicely deployed at the beginning of our round, right? This guy needs to go up front. He's got the alloy cannon. It's not got the best range on it. Uh, we also need to keep our heavy up forward so that we can start using some psionic abilities and just like, wow. Yeah, sort of like Abe's Odyssey. Okay, so we got some serious things coming in here. My biggest threat to my mind is the cyber disc there like the drones are good if we can take the drones out just by like namby pambying about that would be great um but i don't know we'll have to see what happens the cyber disc has gone and got himself fully out in the open so if we can do some hits here 75 it looks like i'm gonna shoot through the wall though let's see what happens hopefully we get a little bit of a glitch yep yep bit of a glitch there great brilliant I was told once that is a privilege, not a right, and I feel privileged. We're going to come around this corner and we're going to fire at him if at all possible. 59% hit chance. Oh, is that enough? Oh, brilliant. Oh, that's sweet. That was quick. Okay, we just got to worry about the drones now. Um, that's okay. Uh, right, where are we going to go to hit some drones? I reckon... Is this a, a good covering spot? It's not a great covering spot, is it? Can we, can we shoot stuff here or can we shoot stuff here? I oh, know, always worried about hiding, hiding behind a car. Can't see anything there, that's okay. We'll, we'll deal with that. This guy can't see anything. Where are we going to move? Let's move him up here. He may or may not be able to get anything. We could use this with our friends. Can we use this with our friends? No. Um, oh, I used it on myself. I have no idea what that did. Alright, we can fire through. No, no, fire through on this guy. 40% hit chance, it's not great, but it is one of the better ones. We couldn't fire any of the other guys because he's a robot and we can't do this sort of thing on a robot. That's fine. That's fine. Why can't this guy shoot him? That's what I want to know. Let's move in this way. Oh, oh, we didn't want to do that. We didn't want to do that at all. Um, we kind of wanted him to just walk in at the beginning of his turn. Okay, well, we're going to have to fire on someone. 53 is probably the biggest hit chance we're going to get. Okay, oh, let's get him past it. 53. Deal with that. Ah, oh, that, that's terrible. Next round, we are in trouble. Oh, this, this, this round, we are in trouble. Reaction shots all round. You can hope that someone's going to do some damage, but we never really get much on this Overwatch. It's got to watch out for exploding cars, right? Ooh. Ow, that's a whole point of damage. <laughs> Did I sound sarcastic then? I'm sorry. I'm too used to taking like 15 points in a go. Shouldn't have left her in the half cover though. Uh, so that guy's gone up to the roof. Did he just like glitch through the roof there? I'm not. I'm not sure about that. Oh well. Uh, that guy suddenly not doing too well actually. Um, yeah. In fact, I'm very worried. How does he go through the roof like that? There must be a way up or something like that. Miss. Oh. That is a lot of heat on that one person there. I'm. Um, worried, shall we say. I, I am actually a little bit concerned. Um, I'm sure we'll live. I'm sure we'll live, but we got to worry. Like, so now this car's on fire. That car's on fire. Is that one drone down? Why didn't this guy get taken out? But we've got to move away from the exploding cars anyway. That That is definitely a must. Uh, so, yeah, this guy, what can we squad sight on? We don't want a squad sight on him. Can we squad sight on this guy? 75% hit chance, hopefully. They are the ones I'm worried about. It's the floaters. The drones, yeah, they're a little bit annoying, but it's the floaters that could actually cause me some real damage. Uh, this guy can fire on someone, but we want him to move away from the car. Um, yes, definitely. And where would that be? Back, just back here somewhere? That's all right. There doesn't appear to be anything I can do, but I am low on ammo, so we're going to reload. Uh, this guy, you seem to be all right, actually. Let's fire on you. Is that something we can do? Worried about the damage. Oh, God, yeah, that was good. Worried about the damage he's taken. Uh, this guy definitely needs to move up somewhere. A little bit, uh, little bit lacking in places to go. Uh, do we move closer with kicks? It, it seems like a bit of a bad spot to be in, but at the same time, it is kicks. So let's do this. I've got a visual. Oh no. Oh, are you kid. Why are they all just like crowded up in the same spot? Um, well, I think Kix is going to take a bit more of a beating than I intended him to. 95% hit chance as opposed to what? 42, 49. Let, let's take this guy. Oh, he's not the one who's going to be doing the damage though, is he? He's really not. Um, let's try him. Hopefully, we get a good hit. Or oh, we blow his cover. I mean. Uh, 
Uh, wild child, you're bound to get some damage taken against you at some point. Can we come in here and fire against someone? We're always wanting to try and move just a little bit closer with this guy because he's the, the damage he could take, uh, the damage he can punch out. Ah, oh, jeez, look at look at all these hit to hits. Oh well, we'll go with this guy then. Is that everybody? Oh, I've got some uh, some sniper shots on people. 65, 65. We'll take this one. Hopefully this is good enough. 10 points of damage. That uh, keeps me happy. I'm definitely out. Oh, da uh, we've got all our cover being taken out, but that's fine. Now we'll see how much damage Kix is going to take, because I've got a feeling everyone's going to pick on him. Um, either that or they're going to lob a grenade down at this one. Oh, there goes my support character. Jeez. Well, good job I'm after a support on this for this one, but ah, uh, like, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Uh, this guy's come around to flank that guy. Oh well. well. I think we'll do the same. We'll run up and just shoot him in the face. Uh, and this guy is what? We're gonna run away? Go on, run off. See if we care. Uh, okay. What? Ooh. Ooh. Fire damage. Everyone's in trouble. All uh, right, so what we got? This guy can take a squad sight at someone. It was either him for 85 or him for 65. I'm going to take the 85 because, you know, that's a much better damage. Mind Fry will not kill him um, as much as I would love to give it a go. Oh, what? Okay, all right, that's fine. That's fine, we can deal with that. Uh, this guy, like, he, who is he targeted on that one? Uh, nowhere really to use our... Um, grenade, uh, not grenades, nowhere to use our rockets. No one's clustered up enough, this is the problem. Okay, so we're going to use this guy, 52, but we will get hollow targeting on him. Or a death. Death is good. Uh, the next guy to go, oh look, he's got line of sight on him. Um, hopefully, fingers crossed. No, no, we missed. Okay, this guy can come down. Oh, there is full cover here and he gets to fire on him, so that, that seems good to me. And then we go, fire. 70% hit chance. Would have expected a little bit better than that, but that's good. Now we've just got a floater to deal with somewhere out there. We're not, not entirely sure where. Uh, partial cover, partial cover. We'll, we'll come in go this on, way. Oh, are you kidding me? I'm just after this floater. Why are they all just like crammed into the same spot? I know I've already said this, but why are they all just crammed into the same spot? No good to anybody, least of all to me. 55% hit chance. Got to, got to go for it. Oh well, no, that, that was that. Right here comes a floater. I, I, God knows what he's going to do. I am scared. I actually feeling the fear in my chest. It's beating away. Oh, what was that? That was like powerful. Was not the word. Um, yeah, not sure what to do about that. A uh, <laughs> little bit caught off guard, but th there we go. This is one of the things that's going to have to happen. What's he doing here? Damn it. These guys are just like really good shots. We're, we're going to have to deal with a lot of this. Okay, first things first. Um, we'll go with the headshot. Exploding cars. I'm glad we've not... Oh, 75% hit chance, and then he'll have to reload. That's fine. We'll go with that. Look, that straight through shot. If he can't hit that, I'm just like fully ashamed of him. Uh, we're going to fire on him as well. Like, the quicker we can take him out, the better, right? Those berserkers are also a big worry. Um, what can we hear? 85% hit chance. Or we can mine for I, I think we'll save that until the end, of course. I, I'm just I'm a little bit worried about what's going to happen when these guys get to me. Uh, we, we could just go. Um, Alright, who's next? It's my heavy. Can we, can we shoot over the top of here? 77% hit chance. The mine fry is not going to do any damage. How did you miss? I honestly, how? Um, oh, this is suddenly turning into a lot worse mission than I, I should have moved him back. Should have moved him back. Was that death? Was that a miss? What happened there? Very confused. Going to be losing people left, right, and centre here. Um, not sure what to do here. He needs to reload. Yeah, he can't fire. This is um, terrible. Uh, this guy, he can reload. Shit. Reloaded. Can you tell I'm panicking a little bit? Okay, we're going to come in here. We're going to shoot him for 79. It's pretty much the only thing we can do at this point. Uh, hopefully, it's a death shot. Yeah. 
Oh. He's down. He is down. He is down. Wow. Okay, you can't see anybody, can't really do anything. Can you mind frying for a hundred percent? Let's do it. Need to push up those psionic abilities, right? <laughs> now, finally. <laughs> Uh, who else has a go? That it? Hopefully he's coming through and that will then be it. I'm hoping this is our last go. Or his last go, because yeah, we've got that. He's going to bleed out in one turn. But if we can finish this now, we are done. Please, fingers crossed. Oh. So we lost one guy who happened to be our support officer, but that's alright. That's fine. We can deal with that. This is a really quick mission. Let's go back and have a look and see what we can do in the thing. Uh, really gutted about our loss of the support character, though it, I suppose it is a one-for-one -one trade. We, we lost a captain. We gained a captain. Would we lose a captain? I don't know which one we lost, but we lost a rank and we gained a captain. So that, that should be alright. Okay, coming in to actually see what we got. Hopefully we've got some Illyrium. Uh, oh, here we go. This guy's been promoted to captain. Let's give him um, many grenades or danger zone. Hmm. Increase the area of suppression. Well, we're going to go with the many grenades, even though you don't really carry grenades. But from now on, you will be. Trust me, from now on, you will be. Uh, we, we've lost this guy. Uh, it's sad day. Sad day. Uh, okay, so what did we get? Floater corpses, muton corpses, muton elite, cyber discs, drone. We've got 12 bits of valerium. It's not great. Not great, but we did alright. Panic into Japan, decreased by two. Let's see if anywhere else panicked. Worried, obviously, about Australia. They seem to do alright, though. They seem to do alright. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to launch a satellite to Australia now. Satellite launched. There we go. Brilliant. That should hopefully have kept everything nice and calm. Uh, in our barracks, in our view soldiers, somewhere... Look, we got this guy here. Okay, we're going to... Uh, no, not, not... Well, yeah, no, we're going to change his loadout. Definitely. Wasn't quite what I intended to do, but as we are here, let's do it. Brilliant. Uh, into the abilities. There we go. Okay, we're going to get a smoke grenade. Awesome. We want the sprinter. Yes. We want multiple field medics. Yes. Confirm. Uh, we want to revive at 50%, or do we want to... No, we want to revive at 33%. Sorry. Because, you know, I'm so good at reviving my guys. Uh, and then the dense smoke gives us higher defensive value which is quite good or the combat drugs give 20% will and 10% critical chart that one confirmed all right okay i'm feeling i'm feeling all right actually feeling all right we've not lost our psionics guys this is this is something good i think what we might do is put someone in here oh look no everyone's been in actually uh it's a bit rubbish Okay, well, maybe we won't be putting someone in here. Um, and with that, I will say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, guys. I will see you next time where we will continue continuing to level up our psionic abilities. Bye!